Nighttime in the city is one of my favorite places to look for interesting stuff to paint. I find inspiration just about everywhere. It's the city lights that really catch my attention. Lots of neon, different colors, especially when they're reflected in a rainy sidewalk. For this video, we're going to create a rainy night in the city scene, try to capture that feel of rain on the pavement, that frenetic energy of people moving around in the city with taxi cabs whizzing by. Actually, the wet pavement is going to be the star of the show here. I'm going to keep the figures that are moving along the sidewalk rather ambiguous. I'm going to put masking fluid in quite a few places on this reference. In fact, I've taken a black and white Xerox of my photo and I've shown you all of the places that I'm going to put masking fluid on here. It's basically all of the lights in the background and a few of these highlight spots that happen through the pavement. So this paper here is fairly leathery. The water started to dry up on it. And if I put a mark there, it's going to give kind of a hard edge. But if I take my brush, take all the liquid out, try to match this to what's on the paper, I can draw inside of that and not really worry about the hard edges so much. You can actually get hard edge lines if you want, or you can soften them out just by tapering with the brush and scumble around a little bit. I actually love the texture here. Kind of matches my reference I've got going on. Can even throw in a few darker spots as well and add even a heightened sense of drama there. The more contrast you get in the sidewalk, the more you're going to focus on it. You don't want to give it too much, but again, this kind of is the focal point. Your eye is going to draw to the lady with the umbrella, but the star of this show is really this colorful, colorful sidewalk. This girl, her purpose is to draw your eye. I'm going to keep putting darker and darker pigment on her and sort of modeling her and giving her more detail than most of the other characters in here, simply because I want her to stand out. I want her to catch your attention. And I'm going to do that with several different devices in here other than surrounding her with lighter values. I'm giving her her own space to exist in where all these guys are in a clump. She's sort of looking at this little group and these guys are all in motion. So really everything, every element of this composition draws you to her even though she has no detail and you know, no real character at all except for the fact that you can kind of tell what she's involved in. She's taking a picture of something that's happening that direction. So a lot of these details in the background, a lot of the highlights that we masked out, they don't have to be white. If they don't have to be white, let's wash over them at least with the clear water and tone them in just a little bit so they become the background. A lot of those brightest things, believe it or not, can just get washed right into the background so that they don't take away from your folks in the foreground. A lot of clear water right there. So this is all unmasked. Every time I wash over any of these white spots, Basically, it has the ability to absorb or receive color, but essentially it's not moving and none of this color is moving because most of it is not above that halfway point on the value scale. So I can kind of get away with doing a little bit of a unifying wash and blending these folks together, just making them look a little bit softer and a little bit more unified so they look like basically a group of people rather than a group of shapes. So these details, you can pick around these all day long and just play and play and play until you wear yourself out. But honestly, I would probably quit before too long here simply because I got everything I wanted and anything that I add to this scene is basically just making more work without adding any real more, more to the story, adding any more value to it. It's sort of a place of diminishing returns where I think only I am going to recognize how much work I put into it. Probably not most of my viewer, but I think at this point, I'm really in great shape. I almost could call it done.